Yo, what's good? It's Josh. Welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to be going over how to sound like Eric DOA. Everything from the bass, the drums, the vocal sounds, the stacks. I put together a little Eric DOA type track that I'm going to be using to go over these techniques. And this is what that sounds like. Never thought that I would be on road. If you talk about me, then you know I'm going ghost. Check your bank account and it's on froze. Never take a hit. I got to make the money grow. Do, 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 do first thing I want to highlight are the instruments. For all of these tracks today, I actually used the Prince, which is Frank Duke's new plugin. If you don't have it, definitely should go check it out. This video is not sponsored, by the way. Frank Dukes, if you're listening, you know where to find me. So the idea started with this little pluck idea. That's just this bolt parade lead and then put a little halftime on it. Then we got a little EQ just taking out the lows to leave room for the 808. Then what I did was bounce that to audio. Went in and warped it a little bit because some of the beats were a little off to me. It sounded a little bit dry to me, so I went and added some RC20, a little bit of space, a little bit of distortion, and then also a little bit of delay. And here's what that sounds like. Then to complement that, got a little bass. It's actually in the pads section right here. I wanted it to kind of filter in a little bit, so I added this auto filter and then just right click, show automation, and automated it to kind of open up over time. And then I got this other little synth part that I kind of wanted to tease a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Because it comes in later in the beat. This is the Foolish King lead. Without any effects, it just sounds like this. And then I put a half time on it, a little bit of temper distortion to kind of make it a little bit dirtier. Took out the lows with the EQ, auto filter doing the same thing as we did with the bass, and a little RC20, a little distortion, magnetic, tone, EQ. And then the hook comes in and I wanted it to change a little bit. So what I did was just take this main part right here, copied that onto a new track and did a couple of different things. First thing I did was pitch it up 12. And then the second thing I did was change the warp mode to beats, put it to eight, and then just kind of mess with this to give it a little bit more texture. Next thing I want to go over are the vocals. So on every vocal track, I'm tuning it with Metatune and it's set to G sharp major. Got a really fast speed, 100% amount. And that's just giving the vocal a really hard tune sound. Then I got a little Alter Boy on the lead track. Here I just added an octave up layer, formatted it to 6.4. I wanted a kind of like a chip monkey kind of voice just to be like layered in the background because Eric DOA does a lot of kind of effects like this. This is what that sounds like 100% wet. Never thought that I would be a rogue. If you talk about me, I didn't want that fully. I just wanted it to kind of blend it in. So I put the mix knob to around here. In terms of the processing, this is kind of an unconventional vocal chain, but fuck it, whatever sounds good. You know what I'm saying? I actually just started with a limiter doing like 5 dB of limiting, a little bit of OTT, turn the amount to 62, then just an EQ, taking out some lows, rolling off a little bit of the highs. Then we got Sibilant kind of controlling those nasty little sneaky S's. We got some fresh air doing a lot. Never thought that I would be on road. <laughs> if you talk about me, then you- Then I used this plugin called Isotope Trash. It's just, just giving it some tape saturation. Kind of just makes it a little bit dirtier. Then I used this gate and adjusted the threshold to where when the vocal is not playing, you don't hear anything. The next crucial thing to Eric DOA and all these hyperpop kids type vocals is vocal layers and to harmonize. So once I had that lead, I started with two lower harmonies and here's what those sound like. Never thought that I would be on Rogue. If you talk about me, then you know I'm going ghost. And then I wanted to go with some higher harmonies and here's what those sound like. Those are also left and right, just a little bit wider. Never thought that I would be on Rogue. If you talk about me, then you know I'm going ghost. Check your bank account and it's so froze. It is what all the vocals sound like together. Never thought that I would be on road. Yeah. If you talk about me, then you know I'm going ghost. Check your bank account and it's so froze. Never take a hit, I gotta make the money grow. A couple other little things to notice. I did use a little bit of delay on this and here's what that looks like. Just a half note echo filtered out a little bit to just have the mids, a little bit of reverb. Also use this ducking feature to reduce the volume of the delay so it doesn't get in the way of the vocal. Also wanna go over this kind of stutter technique that Eric DOA uses a lot and here's what that sounds like in the context of the track. So to create something like that, you just wanna take the part that you wanna stutter, make sure to change your grid to the pattern that you wanna stutter and then just kind of copy and paste it to the pattern that you like. And if you want to kind of lead in a little bit, you can reduce the volume one by one to where it kind of comes in. 
Next thing I want to talk about is the bass. I actually started with this OSBB808, and this is from the Bales Beats Spice Pack. And here's what it sounds like with absolutely no effect. Now that's a really good 808, but I wanted to beef it up a lot with distortion and saturation to make it more like a lot of these hyper pop type beats. So then I did that with temper. Kind of sculpted it a little bit with EQ. And then I added trash. That's just like really beefing up the low end. Just used more tape saturation, kind of like we did on the vocals, really turned up this drive then just adjusted the level. Woo! Some more sculpting with EQ, kind of taming this upper end so it doesn't interfere with the vocal. And then I put this bass mono in there just to keep the bass right on the center. Next I want to go over are the drums. On a lot of these hyper pop type beats, it's a lot of standard trap type patterns or four on the floor patterns, but with kind of unique drum sounds. Pretty typical trap hat, but where it gets interesting is the snare. And so I actually layered two snares here. One was the Oliver snare retro, and then the money snare from this 100 gex pack. Then together, a little bit of trash just to kind of fuck it up a little bit. And then I added this DS10 drum shaper. Shout out to Kenny Beats for showing me this. A little bit of soft clip, a little bit of body, a little bit of sustain, and here's what that does. Then we got the Santa Monica kick from my boy Aries pack. Badass kick. Oh my God. A little open hat. And then just a crash every four beats. The last thing I want to talk about that really elevates these beats are impact and reverse sounds. Here are a couple that I used in this particular beat. I used this Dirty Uplifter 06. I made it the length I wanted. It was a lot longer, but I just shortened it a little bit, then added a fade. For this next sound, I used this Cruel's Kick Stomp 01. Took it, reverse it by hitting the R button, and then put it right before the drop. So you get an effect like this. It kind of just whips it in to where when that kick hits on the drop, it just hits stupid hard, like Mike Tyson hard, you know what I'm saying? Also do that here as well. But you can hear they just help create moments in the track, which is really what you're trying to do. Anyways, that's it for today's tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to let me know and subscribe to the channel. Boy's really trying to get to a thousand subs by the end of the year. Regardless of anything, y'all have an amazing week. Keep making dope music and I'll see you next time. Love you.